<laughs> I did ask for it. I did ask for it. You sleep heavily, and when it's morning, your uh, eyelids feel sticky, like they don't want to open. You remember today's your birthday. Another year closer to death, at least. I'm on an adventure. I'm not alone. I'm learning new things. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to say... Woo! I'm not alone. You think about all the friends you've made recently and can't help smiling as you get up. You find a package outside your door waiting for you. It's from your mom and cool to the touch. Inside is a birthday cake. She must have schemed to make sure it arrived refrigerated. That is so awesome. Mom is so cool. A note says, to my only son on his special day. You, you're you about to cut a slice when there's a knocking at the door. Eat first or answer it? I'm going to answer it. I'm not going to eat first. Um, Maybe it's Jesse. You longingly set the cake aside and go to answer the door. Hi, cuz. Yeah, Happy it's Jesse. I, uh, and he decorated well, instantly. I hope that's okay. Oh, is this Samantha finally? Apologies for dropping in unannounced. I really wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Thanks, Isaac. Your mom said she sent over a cake and we brought some little presents. Nothing special. Certainly not as special as you, Lola. But we did put in some effort. They like walk in and then all of a sudden it bursted in decoration in my room. It's traditional for the birthday boy to use a weapon friend to cut the cake. You up for it, Isaac? Oh, I'm more of a piercing weapon, but I could give it a go. What do you think? I mean, we don't have to follow tradition. Uh, let's do this, I guess. Ungar, dessert approaches. Isaac feels calculating and precise in your hands. You carefully slice the cake into even pieces together. Mmm, that special birthday cake flavor. So vanilla, so sugar. He could taste it while I'm cutting it? Oh, does that mean he could taste the monsters? That's kind of weird. It's been a long time since I've tasted something like this. Delicious. Or he's maybe he's saying he's tasting the cake after I cut it. Because it would be weird if he's tasting it while it's being cut. But now's a good time to give Lola my little gift. Here. Isaac gives you a thin box. Inside is a framed graduation certificate. Feels good. What did I graduate from? I thought you might like proof that you're officially a trained professional fencer. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm glad you earned it. It also reminds me of our time spent together. It feels natural now to be in your hands. Uh. Does that mean Lola is a student that has surpassed the master? Uh. Oh, have I? Or er, I think of us more as partners and I do hope we'll keep training. Never mind. Anyway, here. I got you a little something too. Let, what'd you get me? Oh, Phoenix cat recipe. Jesse gives you an envelope. You open it to find assembly instructions for Phoenix Cap. And two holy energy. It's a kit. The hat looked a little dorky anime. Uh, the hat looked a little dorky anime. But it sounded useful for the dooms. Practical. Can't wait to make it. Uh -huh. Good. I almost went with socks or a whitstone. Those would have been worse, right? Ugh. Definitely. <laughs> Yes. Never purchase a whitstone for someone who isn't a lover, Jesse. It is a fox pals. I don't know what a whitstone is. Uh... Oh, okay, okay. I get the message. Remember, I didn't get one. Crisis averted. <laughs> He's sweating. Look how wide his eyes are. Well, Lola, you're another year older and wiser. Congrats. I'm glad you shared this birthday with us here in Verona Beach. Right. Absolutely, well said. To this and to many future years of our friendship. <laughs> here, here. Have a day of rest and joy, Lola. I'll be thinking of you. Isaac gives you a kiss on either cheek on his way out. Butt cheek. <laughs> you close the door behind them and consider how to spend your day.
All right. Oh, I'm already outside. On your way home, you find a few ingots of steel on your doorstep. They're heavy and cold, but wrapped in a ribbon. And a attached note reads for Lola. From who? You carry it inside. Don't tell me it's Eric, that creep. All right. Let's see. I bet everyone's messaging me. Everyone, right? Oh, everyone. It's a for Jonah. Even, even this dude, Eric. All right. Hey, can I ask you something? Want to join when I paint my next, my new mural? You can be my muse. Is it illegal? Will Jack be there? Oh. I don't want to say either of these. I want to say yes. Will Jack be there? Nope. Just you and me. Oh, sounds really good. What do you say? It sounds great. <laughs> really? Wow, nice. Midnight, the museum. Wear dark clothes. Seriously, though. Black. <laughs> I'm already wearing black, so that's good. Sunder. Everything is too much w work, you know? The dunes, avoiding vamp hunters. The club, gotta relax. So, wanna chill in the park with me? Sure. Cool, see you there. Seven. All right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I have a lot to go over with this guy. All right. Well, that's so much worse. Hope you enjoyed your apples. It's been cool doing the dunge, but it's not exactly cozy. I saw a poster for this cool show. Chrono site. That actually looks pretty cool. Wait, I didn't mean that. No, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I wasn't finished. I'd invite you over to watch TV, but my agent has this place bugged for sure. Want to come over? Creepy. All right, let me, uh, want to come over? Cool, I'll be there soon. Oh, he's actually coming now. You have a few minutes before seven will be here. You're struck by sudden anxiety. Your apartment feels so suffocating, dirty, and boring. Call and cancel, breathe, tidy up. And then tidy up. You do a bit of tidying and dusting, even though it's already pretty clean. You imagine his face of disgust or disappointment, and your heart hammers in your chest. Everything goes dark. You feel a hand on your shoulder, and you hear, and hear, hey, hey, it's okay, breathe. He's already in. Wow. I didn't even let him in. Slowly, you take a shaky breath and open your eyes. Hey. Hey, I'm here. I have a glass of water for you. How did you... I'm sorry. Nuh uh. No, don't apologize. I know it's embarrassing, but trust me, I don't judge. If anything, I'm sorry if it caused, if I caused it somehow. I don't want to make things harder for you. I know how it is to have issues, not anxiety exactly, but I uh, I'm a uh, chronologically depressed. I can tell. I could tell all along. At first, I thought it was the stress of Blade Generation. I'm sure Blade De Generation doesn't make it easier, but depression is part of who I am. I'm mostly on top of it. Therapy, meds, routines, they help me manage. Uh... But if I seem cold sometimes, that's why. Old coping habits mostly. Thanks for telling me. You? Depressed? Thanks for telling me. I'm not gonna ask you depressed, that's insensitive. It's harder now that Sung Wu is getting even closer to my territory, but hmm. I was really glad you invited me over today. I've been stewing. Oh, got some designer glasses. Here, have these. A fashion designer sent me these for a sponsorship, but they look better on you. Ooh, fancy. Ha, I guess so. Fancier than apples anyway. As for tonight, there's a new season of a series I like to binge. Chronosite. It won a bunch of awards. Yeah, let's binge watch it. It's a detective mystery show set in the future. And I brought cheesies as a snack too. I love mysteries. I love snacks. <laughs> Whoa, I found your weak spot, huh? Mine too. But you have, you can have most of them. My agent will kill me if I overdo it anyway. He falls into your couch and you put on Chronosite. It seems to mostly take place in alleys with smoking vents at night. They keep hinting that the detective can transform into a weapon, but not what but not what kind. Whichever way I step, fate is waiting to trip me up. <laughs> the, 
then maybe you should trip her first. Seven munches on the cheesies. He glances at you sidelong. Move closer, lean back. I guess move closer. He drapes his arm over you comfortably without looking away from the screen. Look, there's more than six bullet holes. Somehow she had time to reload. That's impossible unless... <laughs> Snuggling close, you feel tension tightening Seven's chest and arms. The detective's assistant is short-lived and dies under mysterious circumstances. Wait! Play that recording again. The voice in the call is Smokey and Jazzy. You'll never take me alive, cyber cop. I'm the Garrot. No, I'm the Gar- I am a Garrot. And there's only room for one in this town. What? What is going on? Hey, new lover rank. Okay. Chain lightning does more damage when it doesn't f when it doesn't fork. Okay. Chain lightning prefers to target enemies with lowest health. We're gonna go merciless here. That way they die faster. Kiss his fingers. You are acutely aware of Seven's breathing next to you. Hold his hand. Stay strictly platonic. I'll just hold his hand. You interlace your fingers comfortably trying to act casual. You enjoy the rest of the show together until the credits roll. Would you like to offer a gift? Do I have any gift? I don't think he would like any of these. So no. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. You decide not to give a gift right now. Hmm. I really like you, but I, I should go home. Why not stay? This was fun. Why not stay? Uh... I don't want to move too fast. It ba It's backfired on me before. I get hurt easily, my therapist says. Or, I mean, I think I should be careful. Please understand, I'll look forward to, to the next time. Look, I don't know how to say this, but I'm into you. I have big decisions coming up, and even just your friendship will mean a lot. I'm here for you. What kind of decisions? I'm not gonna pry. I don't like prying into people's lives. I'm here for you. I know you are. Thank you, Lola. I'll text you. Later. Night. He lets himself out. I wonder how that cake tasted. <laughs> hey. All right. Let's uh, continue on my message spree. All right. Hey. Been thinking about you all the time. You tell, you'll tell me if I get too clingy, right? I promise. I hope you don't. <laughs> you could never be. I promise. I promise I'll let you know. Cool. I don't want to take your friendship for granted. Talk to you later, okay? Isaac. Sorry, I've been quiet. Time with you has been healing. Can you come to my old office, Brooks Associates? My father has officially taken over and I want to confront him once and for all. I'll be there. Oh, man. I can do this. I mean, we can do this. Perfect. Isaac's gonna stand up. Oh, oh. Hey, I keep seeing something called Blade Generation everywhere. All I know is it's really popular. Be my youth culture interpreter. What is it? Unless it's some kind of sex thing, then don't tell me. A band. A friend of mine. I'm going to say a band. It's a band. Oh, okay. Well, if you find a CD of theirs, bring it home so I can listen. I don't want to fall completely out of touch, you know? Thanks, honey. All right. Eric. Eric, 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 Eric. What a creep. Whose pocket? I heard it's a special day today. It's the exact middle of summer. Crazy, huh? I guess that means your trip is halfway over. I guess it's also your birthday or something. Okay. So this is so this isn't your steal? Wait, what? Nope, not mine. Not me. Whatever you're talking about. Just kidding. I couldn't help myself. Enjoy. Don't eat too much cake. Hey, I have news. I think you're going to want to hear. Come by my shop and we can make a trade. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Pocket. Okay, so my cat was missing for a while and just reappeared with this phone number in his mouth. So I guess you found him. Thanks. If so, I was really worried. No problem. Is there a reward? I'm not going to say is there a reward. No problem. Text me and I'll let 
him out. He likes to roam. Let him out. <laughs> Looks like he's headed to the park. Little killer. <laughs> Interesting. Sawyer, what do you have to say? I was looking up what to cook. And this might be a little complicated. The new hotness. Grilled cheese. What do you think? Is it too hard? Can we do it? It'll be fine. If you say so, then. Wait. Wait, what? Okay. A few minutes later, Sawyer arrives with groceries. I am a very popular person today, huh? Hi! I wasn't sure which recipe to follow, so I got a few different things. Sorting through the bags, you find five different cheeses and various fruits. You can see fear in Sawyer's eyes as they look at the expensive ingredients. Let's make it simple. Let's make it fancy. Oh, Sawyer. Let's make it simple. Uh-huh. All right. Simple I can do, probably. Maybe. Actually, <laughs> I'm not going to get ahead of myself. We'll see what happens. You show them how to grate cheese and melt butter in a pan. That wasn't so hard. The next step says we need some kind of weird TBSP cheese. Tablespoons. That's tablespoons, Sawyer. What's a tub spa? <laughs> Two terrific butter specimens? No, that's not it. It's a measurement. How do you not know? <laughs> it's a measurement. Whoa. Oh, big spoon. Seems easier to remember, though. Like in su snuggling. Moving too fast for me, Sawyer. Sorry if I ask dumb questions. I feel like I can be honest with you and ask you anything. You seem so nice, but are you secretly judging me? Nope, lie? A little. I'm not judging you at all. Good. I get judged enough in class, I'm sick of worrying about points. Oh, wait. I know how I can help. Uh, There we go. Now I can cut the bread and the cheese. Sure, don't cut the cheese. I prefer a bread knife. Uh, don't cut uh -huh. the cheese. Okay, just the bread then. Yes, I'm ignoring your fart joke, dad. <laughs> it's a dad joke. Oh, man, this is awesome. You awkwardly cut the bread with Sawyer's blade. They're a bit long to do so comfortably. Yeah, th this is uh, such a long blade. Um... That was less awesome than I hoped. I guess I'm better for killing monsters, definitely. Maybe if there were a monster made of bread, then I'd be set. You assemble the cheese on the bread and put it in the frying pan. So, random question. Did you go to college? Yeah, but I dropped out. Yeah, I'm going back in September. I actually went to college. Yeah, I did. Whoa. Oh, you're already done? Wow, that's so cool. Sorry if my question was random. I didn't mean to pry or anything. I wanted to ask because you seem like you have it all figured out. I have nothing figured out, Sawyer. I'm still trying to figure out life. I am trying to figure out bills. I am trying to figure out relationships. I have nothing figured out. But if you've graduated, that makes sense. Maybe I'll be more like you someday. Yeah, Sawyer, you don't really want to be like me. Be you. Be you. <laughs> Wait, do you smell that? Is our baby burning? <clears throat> I tend to burn food all the time. <laughs> it looks like the heat was on high, even though the recipe said medium heat. You have created burnt mess. Man. Oh man, what? Sometimes burnt cheese can taste really good still. What? I can't even make the simplest grilled cheese. Really? I feel so stupid. I hate this. Maybe this is all pointless. Here, I'll show you how. Let's try again. Oh, uh. uh, do we have to? We'll, we'll do it better. Your encouragement seems to calm them down. They look at you and take a deep breath. Okay, okay. I can do this. Medium heat. You carefully reassemble the sandwich and put it in the frying pan on medium heat. 
You carefully flip the sandwich. The scent of melting cheddar fills the air. I so want a grilled cheese right now. You have created a delicious grilled cheese. Lover rank two. Okay, let's see, flailing. When Glaive returns from being thrown, do damage to all nearby enemies. That sounds awesome. Glaive throws and returns faster. Nah, I like the flailing part. Wow. <clears throat> wow, cooking is real transformation. Way more magical than people turning into swords. They wolf down their sandwich a bit too quickly, burning their mouth. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh. That was amazing. Plus the ingredients for this were like $3. If I cook instead of going to restaurants, I might be able to afford a textbook someday. Definitely, would you like to offer a gift? Yeah, um, I don't think Sawyer would like any of these. Maybe the flowers, but if I had food, sorry. You decide not to give a gift right now. Sawyer's phone beeps, they glance at it, and their jaw drops. Ah. Fridge, there's been a Roses of v Venus sighting in Verona Beach, I've gotta go. Roses of what? Where? See ya. I know a Rose of Venus. I don't want to say that, it's a secret. It's one? Okay, my headset's good. I need to raise the volume. Where? It's on the side of the mall, like down in capital with capitalism. Up with love, right? Ish. I guess I shouldn't let my business proof hear me say that. Anyway, I gotta go see the mural for myself. Later, chief. Chef. Sawyer bundles up the leftover cheeses and hurries out. Sweet. There is a lot going on right now. Let's get to crafting first. Chocolate truffles, and I can read these again. See, Sawyer would have loved this. I should have made all this beforehand. A potted succulent recipe. Succulent. Okay, uh, bucket recipe. I love me some buckets. Oh, it's a hat. Business suit amethyst. That's pretty sweet, that color. Night helmet. Wait, before anything. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go through, do everything. Night helmet. Designer pods. Yeah. Love letter. Ooh, I could get someone a love letter. Ooh, travel guide. Pretty ribbon. That looks like a a neck bow. Futurist recipe. Not bad. I kind of like that. Sun hat. Ooh. Single malt scotch. Sweet. Phoenix cap. I got so much materials right now. Oh, that looks freaking awesome. True royalty. Wow. A dozen red roses. Sweet. Oh, I don't have enough cloth. Oh, that sucks. Oh. Oh my goodness, the rest of these. You. Oh my goodness. All right, phone. Sawyer. Whoa, that grilled cheese put me into a sleep coma. They should sell it as a sedative. Tastiest sedative in the West. Are you okay? Glad you liked it. Very much. Just have to not eat one before a test. Oh, but I forgot to tell you. I was so pumped from yesterday that I made breakfast all by myself. The egg wasn't blackened at all. Oh, that looks delicious. Hey, I keep doing that. Oh, I'm so sorry. I cut the bread myself too, huh? I feel so powerful. Achievement unlocked. Yeah, Sawyer, way to go. Your app's gonna be amazing. You're gonna do it. 
Let me check this stuff out. I like the black better. That's pretty awesome. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Holy smokes. That is pretty awesome. I'm gonna stick with that for wait, there's still another one. There's still one new, it says. Oh, okay, never mind. Orange skin yet? Nope. Let's go. Alright, let's leave. Oh, let's see. Verona Museum, Pacifica, the gym. Brooks, there are places I can go. First off, I'm gonna go to the person that makes me feel super awkward. And he has a love rank? No way. Let's see. He has a love rank. You find Eric reading a book behind the counter. He brightens as you approach, carefully closing the book. It's so good to see you. Really? You look great. Fit. The dungeon must be giving you a good workout. It is. You have information? Thanks. Just the truth, my good sir, but your gratitude is appreciated. Well, I thought you might want to know what I discovered about the dungeons in my research. Hmm. Did you know? They manifest your fears. The monsters actually come from inside you, yes? Sarcasm. Uh, I'm gonna lie. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. Amazing, right? The internet has a lot of misleading info, but some gold too. Just don't read comments about yourself or reviews of your business. <clears throat> oh man, he gets a lot of negativity online, I, I see. I was thinking, since the dungeons are all about your fears, then couldn't we just like ignore them and they'd go away? Seems like they'd be safer. It'd be safer too. But even if you want to fight monsters, the fact that it's your fears suggests you have control. Hmm. I think we could even speedrun dungeons if we want it. Skip straight to the bottom. Fight the boss monster immediately. I figured out how. Really, but... Eric pauses and looks you in the eye with a mischievous grin. I said this would be a trade. How about... I'll tell you about my speedrun strat for the low price of one kiss. On the cheek. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Oh, fine. What about a smile? Just one nice, handsome smile. I can do that. Beautiful. See? This wasn't so hard, was it? You should share that smile more often. Well, with your end of the deal fulfilled, here's what I know. If you just decided not to be afraid, I think the boss will manifest itself immediately. Ah. You could skip straight to the end. Bam. No problem. That's not how it works. Duly noted. I'll try it. You realize you've already tried not being afraid and it didn't work. You sputter. Hmm. Well, at the very least, I'd advise not inventing any new fears. It might make more dent dungeons appear. Eric winks at you, pleased with himself. A shape slips silently into view, gracefully, graceful as water. <laughs> Ew! I'm sorry, but what is that? Enemy? The stranger stares at you with an intensity bordering on excitement. Is that the servant he created? Don't tell me that's a weapon that he created. Ah! Eric's eyes widen and he quickly shakes his head. No. No, not an enemy. Return to your sheath. The stranger slips away with a rustle of silk. Hmm. That's my friend. Don't worry about him. He's under my control. Who is he? He looked ill. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. And that's all I want to say about it. I've been very generous with my information. But even I need privacy. Hmm. That's the weapon he's been created, wasn't it? I'm paid for my knowledge as a professor. After all, don't take me for granted. Hmm. Good day. Eric pointedly reopens his book and ignores you until you leave. Very crazy. Very crazy. Eric, Eric, Eric. 
Okay, there's nothing here for me. Go back outside. Eric, Eric, Eric. All right, um... Oh, I want to see him take down his dad. But I definitely am feeling this. Let's go to the museum. The museum looks deserted when you reach it. In the dark, it looks somehow forbidden. Forbidding? It's quiet, too quiet. You shiver involuntarily. Maybe that's why you nearly jump out of your skin when a hand descends on your arm. Another hand covers your mouth as you're pulled down an alley. <laughs> Shh, it's just me. You startled me. The roses of Venus have been doing graffiti for years. She looks, she looks mighty cute in that hoodie right there. I've been doing this for years. You're in good hands. I promise. This is going to be fun. Um. I, um... Valeria smiles crookedly, her eyes glinting in the half-light. You look... You're just so, um... You look good, thank you. Aren't we in a hurry? I'm gonna say you look good. Thanks. Thanks. On nights like this, I feel wild, free, full of abandon. Can't you feel it? Like there's something vast moving through you. Like you want to turn yourself inside out. To show the world all the wonder inside you. She pulls you into her arms without another word, and you can hear her breathe in. God, I love the way you smell. Whoa, smells. <laughs> How do I smell? <laughs> do I cake? It's my birthday. Cake? Her lips touch your collarbones. The hollow at your throat. Mm -hmm. And the way you taste. Wait, what? By the time she reaches your lips, you've forgotten your own name. Why you're here. Valeria's foot jostles, the black duffel bag at her feet, and it jangles. She springs back with a hiss and glances around. Don't think anyone heard that, Lucky. She casts you a rueful look. We should focus on the Roses of Venus business. Ever bring anyone here? Just you and me. Valeria hefts the bag over her shoulder and points towards the wall of the museum. This is a good wall. See how nice and smooth it is? I've already primed it with satin paint. Takes up color better that way. She zips open the bag, revealing an array of spray paint cans, paint brushes, and paint. Pick a color for me. I need inspiration. Blood red, jade green, orchid purple. Hmm. I'm gonna go with jade green. Huh. Green can be for envy, but that's so limiting. Green is grass and forest and work growth. Valeria hefts the paint that you chose, juggling it from one hand to another. Oh, new love rank. Let's see, impatient. Can attack in the middle of a row. That is huge. Seriously. That is huge. Her face is thoughtful, almost preoccupied. She turns to look at you in her eyes. For a moment, you feel almost alone, as though Valeria isn't with you. Really? That's weird. As if the world around you is tissue thin. Beneath it, something blazes with color. And just as quickly, the moment is gone. Huh? What? Did you feel that? Her voice sounds shaky. You're not sure what your voice will sound like. When you say Yes Let's keep going <clears throat> Um What did I feel? Yes I wish I could say that's never happened to me before But right now We have a job to do She marks the surface of the wall Dividing it up into halves Then quarters after a moment's hesitation, Valeria hands you the paint can. <laughs> You're my muse, aren't you? Paint something. Like what? A line. A shape. A shape? Just let the wall speak to you. That's what I do. You take a deep breath and lift the paint can in your hand. When the sound of sirens tear through the night air all around you. Oh, this sucks. Oh, crap. She grabs her bag in your free hand and begins to run. A voice hisses softly from a nearby shadow. Psst, 
Valentine, over here, this way. Jake, what are you doing here? Saving your butts. What the hell do you think I'm doing here? Did you call the cops? You're here to save me? Did you call the cops? Hey, listen but up, buddy. I may not like you, but I'm not gonna call the cops on you. This is a Roses of Venus job, and I'm still a Rose. I'm here to help. Come on, Valentine. I'm on your side. I took your side against my own sister. And Lola, whatever's between you and me, I'd never betray Val. Huh. I believe him. A siren sounds far too close for comfort. Do you want us to all get arrested? We need to go. Fine. You all start running following Jake. Three silhouettes flying down the alleys. Soon you leave the sirens behind. The only sound your own breathing and the crunch of gravel. Oh, that kind of sucks the way that ended. You can't stop your hands from shaking for some time, even after you arrive home. What? That sucks. I was enjoying my time with her. Oh. Woo. It's a good thing Jake was there. That was close. I still get the feeling Jake is the one who did it. I still feel that way. All right, so I got two dates here. Wow. Uh, let's date. Go. Let's cat. Come on. Come on, kitty, kitty. You find a familiar orange cat tail flicking. You sit on a bench nearby. His collar still reads pocket. Here, kitty, kitty. Remember me? I must pet him. He startles back from your hand, eyes wide, as if shocked by your presumption. He then stands and stretches luxuriously, seemingly ignoring you. Wow. Pocket quickly becomes distracted and tenses up, looking at the pond next to you. You follow his gaze and see happy ducks enjoying the weather. Pocket stares intently at the ducks, mouth slowly falling open. Gonna pounce? Quietly bird watch with him. After a moment, he makes a small squeaky sound, almost like he's talking. Love rank! Swat. Finishers immobilize enemies, but they can still attack. Sweet. The ducks, perhaps feeling watched, paddle away further into the water. Pocket looks at you expect expectantly, tail flicking. So you want a dunge? So you want me to pet you? So you're a cat. Wow. Pocket extends his claws playfully. Hey. You scintillately, you scintillating conversation is interrupted by someone approaching. Oh, a chance meeting, my favorite kind. She leans over and kisses you lightly, a smile on her lips. Meow. And this must be your valiant protector against the evil ducks. Pocket blinks lazily in the sunlight, a soft purr starting up. Hmm. Can I pet him? He doesn't like it, petting. If he lets you, of course. She offers her hand to him, but he hisses when she tries to move closer. Fair enough, everyone deserves to set their own boundaries, I guess. But I just took a walk to clear my head. Gotta get back to work. Bye, Valeria. <laughs> and away from these ducks. <laughs> the biting ducks. You be careful around them. Ciao. Ciao. Her kiss goodbye is prolonged and sweet in the afternoon sun. When it ends, you open your eyes and realize Pocket has slipped away. You sit for a while longer than head home. I am the dating master. Mom! So, what's it like living life on the edge? You know, cuz, swords, kissing them, etc. <laughs> life is very funny, Mom. Uh, so you like it when my words have a dual meaning, huh? Get it? <laughs> yes, mom. Ah, come on. I'm being perfectly acceptable. Okay, I'm done for now. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> he made it home safely. His claws look healed too. He's a good cat. He got into trouble. He's a good cat. He's too smart to be good. Has too many ideas and plans. I know I sound crazy, but never mind. Oh, looks like he's ready to go out again. Let him out. 
False alarm, he came back inside. Never mind. Maybe next time. Haha. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, two more dates. Two more dates. Come on, let's rip your dad a new one. Well, hello. You meet Isaac outside Brooks Associates and knock on the door. You can't go in there. Oh, can't I? Come in. The assistant shrugs and gets out of the way. Here goes. Can I really do this? Good luck. I'm with you. Thanks. Let's go. You hold his elbow and go inside together. Ah, Mr. Brooks. I don't believe you have an appointment. Your assistant wouldn't make one. Make me one. Why would she? Apparently, I'm not your father anymore, so you're a nobody to me. <laughs> Worse than a nobody. You're just a failure I've replaced. How dare you? Want a punch in the mouth? You should apologize. Say nothing. I think Isaac needs to handle this himself. Isaac gives you a grateful look and squeezes your hand. But why are you doing this, Vincent? Why replace me at all? Even if you wanted to spite me, you must hate this. You always said jobs were for people who pay taxes. <laughs> yes, yes, but you were making such a mess I had to step in. My name was already on the door. This is a new low, but I only came here to tell you to your face that I don't care. Yes. It's your company and I don't mind. All of my money is going to charity anyway. It was a mistake to think I could help people with venture capital. <laughs> Good. I'm so very glad that you're happy. I'm selling off this dunge nonsense, by the way. Some Silicon Valley nut job can have it. We'll be investing in solid, timeless products. Mm. Computers, uh, coasters, pens, staplers. Are those just things you can see on your desk right now? No, I don't even own a stapler, ha! Huh? I haven't seen a stapler in years. They must be in hot demand. I should double my investment. Ugh. You know what? It doesn't right. matter. When you want to be part of it, you can treat me with respect. You let me know. Squeeze his hand. Glare at Vincent. Spit on Vincent. That is excessive. I'm not going to do that. I can go to jail. I'm going to squeeze his hand. <laughs> Report. Okay, so uh, the counterattack does more damage. I never used the counterattack, though. You turn to leave together. Isaac? Wait, one second. I won't have you thinking this is all about you. Taking over my firm isn't about me? Well, father and son stare at each other in silence for a mm. moment. Very well, I suppose it is a little bit. I thought having a son would give me an ally, a representative. Instead, I find you intending to give away everything and ruin the Brooks legacy. <sighs> Vincent. I appreciate the time and care you and mom put into raising me, but you always said you wanted to trust me to make my own decisions. Why are you surprised? <laughs> I said that because I thought you would make the right decisions, obviously. But at least I found one com competent person, at least Christine. Get in here. Yes, sir. Is there a problem? I'm going public with the news. Welcome to the family, Miss Brooks. Wait, what? You and her are together? Oh? What? Chris Christine is my daughter, at least as far as the inheritance is concerned. What? Wait, what? Isaac. The Brooks legacy can't be allowed to sink into the mud. Sorry, Isaac. I sh I'm sure you understand. Mm -hmm. I'm, sh I'm not sure I do. How could I say no? Unbelievable. Vincent clears his throat. Isaac leaves without a word. Follow. I'm going to say you should both be ashamed. Oh, no you don't. Mr. Brooks doesn't have time for you today or any day. The door slams firmly behind you. You don't see Isaac anywhere in the office. You find him outside, seemingly enjoying the sunlight. Oh, hello. Well, I'm fine. How should we celebrate? Free? Celebrate what? I'm free, not I'm fine. Celebrate what? Sorry, that's probably the wrong word. I'll be sad later, I'm sure. But 
I'll mostly be sad thinking of what my father and I could have had. What I wanted us to have. As for the money, I wanted it to go to charity. But that's out of my hands now. Right now, in this moment, realizing I owe nothing to that man is a relief. Well, not just relief. Also an emptiness, I confess. I'd rather not be alone tonight. You don't have to be alone. Well, some things are between me and God, like the bathroom. But you're right. Mm -hmm. Spending time with you would be nice tonight, maybe at my place. His place? I mean, I don't want to push you if you're uncomfortable. Or we could just find a restaurant instead. Where do you want to go? I want a restaurant. You discuss the options. Eventually, he leads you to Bravura. Welcome, Mr. Brooks. Your usual at the table? Oof. That name grates on my ears, Brooks. Ugh, I should find a new one. You sit down and enjoy a fine five course meal together. <laughs> Nothing like cheese and bread and good company to soothe the soul. I know we didn't talk about my father much, but you were still a great comfort to me. Thank you for the wonderful evening. <laughs> Him and his uh, strange emotes. <laughs> <laughs> Stab, party, heart. Mm, I don't think emojis are appropriate here. I'd rather focus on our lovely evening. It was tasty. I'm glad. What a summer it's been. And it's all started in the dunes. <laughs> I think he's starting to use them correctly. I think that's it, right? I think we can dunge one more time. <laughs> 